Hey everybody, how you doing? This is a Kilo Uniform 4 Sierra Mike Charlie or KU4 SMC or KBU SMC. My YouTube channel. And uh, I just want to, uh, just, I'm excited y'all. I'm really excited. I want to make a video before the end of the year because I hadn't made one since probably August or September. But been making some great contacts. Great contacts. We're right here. All right, get you off my ugly mug mm -hmm. here. All right, turn this around. Right here, we're looking at my other end, my long end, to my Buckmaster. Uh, and some wind turbines behind me running. My Buckmaster HP, 3000 watt HP, seven band, but I can do all the bands on because I got a tuner. And I'm running about 57, uh, I guess 57 feet of coax. Uh, you always learn in school, the shorter but better a lot of times. And there's my lump, my short end. That's going, that's kind of going north, northeast. And this one's going south, southwest. This, this, uh, this antenna right here. So, and there's my bush comb. That's at 27 feet in the air. And I'm telling you y'all, they're both amazing antennas. And then there's my diamond uh, two meter antenna up there. Um, I think I hand off the 300 watts. But anyway, this will handle a thousand thousand watts. Uh, my Bushcom Horizon 6.7 rotatable dipole, and uh, the book uh, the Buckmaster will handle uh, 3,000 watts. All right, let me take you a walk up there. Tell y'all, my ultra has been giving me a fit. Let me go here, yeah, and we'll take you a closer look at it. And I'll show you, I'll tell you about to show you the contacts that I made. And I got my little ham puppy, Ruby. Cause she likes to go out the shack with me and talk radio. But yeah, y'all, and the wind's blowing about uh, 10 to 20 miles an hour. So you get a little, little flex, you know. Um, it's about 2.52 in the afternoon, um, here in Virginia, where I live at. But yeah, uh, the Buckmaster, I'll give you a closer look up at it. Here's my coax, I'm using Belden coax. And I got a little strain relief on it there, some uh, paracord, 550 paracord right there you could probably go a tad higher but it's, it's, it's taking some of the strain off of it anyway but here we go that's the bush calm the ballon made right here in Virginia all right and here's my short lead Run right here. That's going north northeast. All right. Take you inside. I'll show you what I've been doing up to. Okay, folks, we're in the ham shack now. We're sitting on 10 meters. Using an Icon 7300. Using the LDG 1000 AT Pro 2. Uh, of course, there's my call sign. You see it probably too good. There it is. There's my daughter's. That's mine. Really proud of her. I got her her uh hers hanging up there on the wall. Also, along with my sharper finger. Let's turn some more lights on here. All right, y'all gonna get a shock out of this, y'all. Let's turn the colors. I'll turn it on for y'all. All right, well, we'll get started with everything. Let me sit down. Uh, right now, I got my solar uh, showing up. My optics are already on my outback. 
And reason being, um, I'm, I'm making about 400 watts, uh, six, 700 some watts, but some of it goes to the battery. And now we just got some cloud edge effect. And right now it says load. Okay, it says 100 watts. Well, y'all, I got 120 volts out of here. I don't have enough room for 240, but this is what I did back in the, around August. I got purchased a, mm -hmm. from good old DX Engineering, an ALS 606. So I'll give me 600 watts. And it's only drawing about like 100 watts power. And that's the linear power supply to run the amplifier. And sorry about the bright lights, y'all. It's, it's, it's cooking. But anyway, we're on right now on my, my rotator. We're on a, we're on a, we're facing north, due north. And that's a good direction. I had this made by Buckmaster. And it's got my location. Bam. Well, you see that little continent right down here? All right, that's another reason why I got this map, but to show you everything in the world where I want to get in contact. And yes, y'all, I ain't gonna believe it. Well, it's probably not so much as every, every ham radio operator, but it was something to me. I'm proud of it. I reached Antarctica on December 2nd on 20 meters. And I'm really proud of that. I mean, that's unreal. It blew my mind. I mean, it's like 9,000 some miles away from where I'm located in here in Chesterfield, Virginia. So I bought me a flag just to, just because, you know, just because. I mean, I've talked to some ham radios that have been ha doing ham radio all their life and never even talked to Antarctica. So yeah, the amp helped me get it down there. I had them on 100 watts one time, but such a big pile up and the amp helps you get that other S unit where you can be heard. Um, so let's get to here. I'm gonna show I'll show you uh Okay, let me get my log book And I reach last time I reached Antarctica was Um New Meyer Station on ten meter twenty eight six five five Yeah, yeah, 10 meter, 10 meter. On the six, 16th of uh, um, December, 2024. The first time I reached them was next page. I reached them again. Another station, base con conjuda on 10 meters on the 14th. Um, reach Alaska, Hawaii. Oh, it's wow. I mean, I'm excited every time I do that. And then, all right, here you go. New Meyer Station going twice in one day. About, well, I guess about 15 minutes apart. The bands got better and I can hear them better. I got a better signal report. On 14210. Antarctica, New Meyer Station. December 2nd was the first time I ever reached them. So I'm like, wow. In Japan, they're probably 100 watts. Don't have to run power. It just all depends on the propagation, y'all. But here's my setup. Let's see if we can find somebody on 10 meters. Uh, I use DX heat. That's 21,280. Um, Norway. Let's see if we can get Norway. 21,280. 21,280. Let me tune up, y'all. I got mine semi-automatic tune. 
There's lights killing us, y'all. Sorry. Tune up. And that's on the uh, 15 meters on the Buckmaster. Now, excuse me, the Bushcom. Can't hear a thing. But that's just the way the bands are. Well, let's go 10 meters. 10. We'll go to 28 megahertz. Right, let me tune up. And I'm running 45% power. RF power, 45%. So I can see that. Wow. And it's sort of bad video quality, y'all. Let me get off of that. Let me tune up again. All right. between your transceiver and squash up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm turn that off. Just push it in. And a speaker music is an outcome. I believe it is a. That is a ICOM SP41. It's got the high and cut and low. That's an awesome speaker, y'all. Awesome, man. I got my Comet. I can see all my antennas clearing in. Let's try something here. I'm going to go to my book, book, um, Buckmaster HP antenna. Alright, see how screen change a little bit. Alright, we'll get into Bushcom now. It is a difference in wire and actual metal antenna. Butt mask sounds good too. That's twenty four eight four nine five. Let me see who this is. You can see the bands are not a lot of whole lot of people aren't. Oh, anyway, I'm not going to dra drag it out for y'all, but I'm going to turn this down. But yeah, y'all, I mean, overall, I mean, get you off of here. Yeah, so this is my setup, and back here, I got a one-to-one -one ballon from a Buckmaster, just to keep down the RF. That's a little bit, I got my all my antennas marked. And back here, I've got them hooked up. And I keep I keep everything unhooked, my coax, my power, everything when I'm not when the radio's not in use. But let's see here. Well anyway, folks, mm -hmm. let me let me refresh this. Alright, well this bands are getting a little butter. Um well there's more people I want it, you know, talking. Twenty one three zero five. Who is that? Uh, no way. I said we can't get a station here. 
Finland. 21305. Alright. Make sure, make sure your you want to make sure your amplifier is off before you do any of that stuff. So stand by. Three zero five. I can barely hear him. Yeah, prop gauge is not real good today, y'all. But anyway, hey, folks, I might try to get this contact. But y'all, it has been a pleasure. Um, I think you're seeing eyeglasses off. But yeah, I mean, look me up if y'all need any help. There's a, let me see if I find it. Yeah, there's the Antarctica flag. I'm excited about that, y'all. Yeah, uh, look me up. And just want to do another video before the year is out. And, uh, you know, with Antarctica in there. And, uh, y'all, y'all need anything or need help with ham radio or anything like that? I'm still a newbie myself, so I'm still learning. Let's go. But I like phone. Uh, that's my, my best type of radio. You know, I, I like talking to people. As you can't tell. <laughs> I talked to my father in law, so man, I'll talk to. I'll talk to bark off a tree. <laughs> well, anyway, y'all, hey, this is Kilo Uniform 4, Sierra Mike Charlie. Thank y'all for watching. God bless and Semper Fi. Hoorah. Same trees, y'all. All right, now. Bye-bye.